I'm once a tourist on this side. A tourist? Yeah, I came for sightseeing. That was like 18 years ago. You came here? I came here for sightseeing. So? So when I got to this part, mm. I fall in love with the atmosphere. I decided to have a small beach house on this island. This is a beauty located in one of the coastal communities in Lagos, Nigeria. This is Bereful Island, Badagri, Lagos, Nigeria. The government pay little on attention to this tourist attraction. This is a national monument, a history on its own. The liberty stage of this heritage calls for an urgent attention from the government and from every Nigerian. Even at the unattended stage of this monument, people are still trooping in to experience the vibrant lifestyle and heritage of this monument. Go, go, go. Yeah, go. One, two, go. Go, go. go. <laughs> it's always a good experience from the beach, but let's hear from the visitors. I interacted with some of the visitors. My experience was great. It was it was fun. I came with um, some of my um, student colleague um, in Lagos State University. Paragui at large. Paragui at large is a safe place for anybody to you know to visit and to you know to come and look how the community and the coastal town is. But one of the major um, tourist sites attention that attracts attention in Badagri is Berefra Island and Berefra Island is a is an historical place where um, a, a very a very major part um, among the or part of the history of um, the slave market. Yeah. I am working on this is the slave route right right here this is where thousands and millions of our brothers Walk through history of slavery in Africa will be incomplete without mentioning Badagri. Right here, we have slave sales, slave markets, and all the amenities that facilitated the success of slavery in Africa, particularly Badagri. And these monuments are still here for people to come see. We have slave museums and all that right here in Badagri. Looking at how the communities here are trying their best to keep this heritage up and going is impressive. We as a community, we try our very much best to develop this community in the very best way we can. So in this island, we have a craftsman that uh, crafts different art works. Okay, we also have different uh, souvenirs and uh, shops that sells different drinks and foods that is uh, peculiar to this particular island. So we also have tour guides that uh, takes people around this island. As a community, this is the best way we organize and take care of this uh, island. I, as a person, I enjoyed every bit of my stay right here in this island, and I'm very impressed with the way the communities are holding it down for visitors who are coming to experience this particular island. I am very sure I'm not the only one who enjoyed coming to this island. <laughs> Seriously, I'm really having a lot of fun. Like, this place is really, really nice. This beach, I've never been here too. This is my first time here, so like, yeah, this is my first time here. And it's really fun, like, there's a lot of excitement. Talking about these people who are making this place active and fun enough for people to give this kind of feedback, I consider it important to get to know how they are doing it to keep visitors engaged. I sell minerals, waters, biscuits, chips, galas, and the rest. Huts also. Are you, are you the only one that has sold? Yes, for now I'm the only person here. You know, my name is Israel, and this is my horse. This is, my name is Zuru. So, using the horse at the beach at the point of no return and return for each story that comes around because the majority of people who haven't rode on horse before say they would like to experience it so whoever comes around we give them horse rides instead of sitting down home doing nothing at least just have to do something 
or creativity, anything you know you can do to just survive. So we don't depend on those governments or whatever they call yourself. After all, they kept saying that Nigeria youth are lazy, so we don't depend on them. Well, the Beref Island, island major, majorly the, the, the construction going on here, I, I even thought it, it would have been completed um, until recently when I come back to Badagri and I realized that it is still the way it was. And now it has even gotten to a, 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 a state that it's it's all the all the all the all the um, the, the the construction the everything it has it has got spoiled and everything is not really looking good anymore. So I feel like the government should remember or should come back to the project. I feel the government should come back to the project and you know let us let them bring out the beautification of the of the site and to you know to project Badagri to the world. This structure here is symbolic to this place. It was standing tall. I, I don't know. I don't, I, I, what happened to the, to, the, to the structure? I'm this is a, this is a point of no return. Yeah. And the state government is trying to like make the place beautify. So like the two people that you are seeing at the front is one that represent the point of no return. Okay. So during during those days when they Line those slaves down here. Yeah. It's, 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 it's not much for them yeah. to these two. Sorry. Pole, walk, walk through this pole. These two poles standing here. Okay. The two poles have been here for a long time ago. Yeah. Apart from this structure. Structure. Okay. So when they got here, it's not much for them to walk through the two, the two poles. So without walking through these two poles, they don't have any other path to walk through than through these two poles. Pole. So crossing these two poles, I mean, they cross the point of no return. So why is it? The structure kind of is destroyed. What happened to 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 to, 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 to? You know, sometimes Nigeria government, when they give you a project, I think there were lack of like maintenance following up, following up. Yeah. Like the, maybe the company or the person that they give the contract contract to, they should, they should be doing the following up mm -hmm. how it was then. But this one that you are saying here. At the end of the day, they said the company did not use the normal materials. materials. Mm. So when storm starts blowing, storm entering this thing, it felt scatter hope. it away. Wow. Yes. I met a craftsman who came as a tourist, fell in love with the atmosphere, decided to stay back and establish his business and his life right here. All right, guys. I'm here with one of the persons making this place active. Why the government? All right, I'm, I'm here with the G Black. And um, G Black, what, what do you do? Like, what, what was your responsibility at this island? Uh, good afternoon. You are yeah. welcome to Badagri Point of No Return, though it has become Point of Return now. Yeah. We are doing coconut craft here. What, what, what does that mean? Uh, we are using coconut shell for our artworks. Okay. Like this one you see on me. Right, cool. This is coconut water bottle. Coconut this is something you can keep your stuff, your drink, your water inside. Can I see? Wait, I don't get it. You made this thing. You, you, I made it. Yourself? By myself, yeah. Guys, it's literally turning waste to wealth. To wealth. Yeah. Wow, that's impressive. But how do you make something like this? It has a process. What's the if process? You can, if you can come in and come and see how we do our stuff. Guys, can we come in? Yeah, let's go. Just a minute, yeah? Before we continue on the tour, let's see what G Black does here. <laughs> it's my own. Oh. You can see what we use for our productions. Come inside. Come inside. You see them like a waste. Right. Waste to wealth. How? Oh, how do you make that happen? We have our machines here that help us oh, 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 oh. cutting in different shape of what we have. going on here it's oh, 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 this is a coconut shell yeah so like what's this I'm, I'm seeing whole whole full yeah you can see this oh this is coconut here yeah. wow oh, coconut shell. so this is the as in this yeah, spot yes yeah. guys this makes sense wow so what was this it's like for a decoration okay interior interior wow you can hang it at home mm. I, I, it, it'll give you that old vibes exactly 
Mm. How about this? This from the good bag is from coconut as well. From coconut? From coconut. How? Oh, this is wood. It has a process. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand. What's the process? Before it becomes like this, mm. you know, is the, is the fiber. Okay. Before you, before you meet oh, oh, this. Oh, okay. The fiber from, from this shell. Yeah, from the shell. Oh, that's the, this yeah. fiber here. Yes, those are the fiber there. Mm. So this is what you used to make something like this. Yes, jute bag. But I want to ask you, I want to ask you one question. Okay. Why are you doing this? Oh, thank you. I'm can, one of the can, 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 can we come outside? Okay. So, why? Why this? Okay. I'm one of the tourists on this side. A tourist? Yeah, I came for sightseeing. That was like 18 years ago. You came here? I came here for sightseeing. So? So when I go to this part, mm. I fall in love with the atmosphere. I decided to have a small beach house on this island. So when I got my beach house on this island, I see the way the tourist normally comes in to this side. Mm. And I look at them as when they come, they go like that. Nothing to take home mm. as a souvenir. Mm. So I look at it very well. I say coconut is the heritage of Baragrians. Mm. We know Baragri as a coconut place. Yeah. Yes. I yeah. say, okay, now let me start working with this coconut shell. Mm. That is how I started doing this my artwork. So, but with the support of the tourism, the people that come in, that buy my products, you know, and I survived through this. So, like, your journey is, is like, I, I don't know how to feel. Like, it's not like I'm, I came here for, I don't, it's not like I came here for a tour and I said to, to set up a business here. Here has a lot of potential, very true. But how's the journey for you so far? The, is he worth it? He worth it. This is this is why the government needed to come in and you know make this, this place a tourist hub. I must tell you this: eh? first time I came here, I was blown away. But right now, my impression level is at zero, bro. Like when I came here for the first time, okay, there were a lot of coconuts here. Like what happened? Why, why is it looking? What are you guys doing? Um. You can see the coconut tree, they, re, they, they, they reduce, right? Drastically. It's, it's, it's not like you guys are not planting new ones or something. It's not, it's not even planting okay. new ones. Okay. Even the old one. Yeah. If they, they leave the old one, mm. I think the way you go here now, you see the old one. Yeah. Standing. Yeah. But some people, they don't, they want to perish the heritage. They just come here, start cutting the, the old one down. Like people they, they said, they said the old, but I I believe before you can fall a, a building, mm -hmm. maybe you have a package for another Replacement. new one. Yes, I think before they can start cutting the the old one, they should have. A they could have even plant those the, the small small one. Yeah, the ahead. Yes, before cutting the old ones. The old one. So when I go, I saw saw people cutting the the tree, and I asked them, why are you cutting the the old one? They said. They were not bearing fruit, fruit anymore. Okay, why can't you just leave them? It's just like an heritage to this island. Yeah. But at the end of the day, before we take a step, mm. they have cut a lot of the coconut tree. Mm. Let me ask, who are those who are cutting the coconut trees? They were from Lagos State Department. At the end of the day, when the thing later leak out, the the um, last coda department yeah. which is the coconut section yeah some of their boss come here yeah. and they said the person that came here to cut the coconut tree they don't know anything about him he just he has snake in oh. cut it on on his on, 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 on his own and that very day the man told me at any time i saw anybody here cutting the coconut tree i should like hold the person hold the person then i make a call so huh? the, 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 the person that sent him, mm. they will need to see the person. Ask him, yes. Mm. So that means the person claim is from the government. Yes. Whereas he's not. According to what he said. So I want to ask you a question. Is there people like in management that that, 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 that okay, like more like a security, a community security, a, 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 or a community or, or leader here that can ask more, more, more question regarding this uh, particular place? Bale is no more. Okay. We lost Bale, I think, last year. Wow, Mr. So, the community is trying to 
arranged under ballot, but it's not yet. But they have a... Um, An interim government? Yes. That's okay. holding the seat now. Okay. Till when they will arrange for under ballet. ballet. So I can't see the ballet right now. You can't see him. I went to meet with one of the elders on this place, ask them more questions regarding this place, opportunities that they are open. But in other words, I will make more, I will put in more strength on that. So I was meant to understand that right there, that was the one of the Fashola's legacy on this place. So bro, like, what's there? So it's one of the Fashola legacy project on this island. Okay. So it's part of the project con concerning the point of no return. So this one is just like a chalet. A chalet, okay. This is the first batch. Okay. They want to do it, do it like three batch. Three batch. Down to the riverside. Mm. So this is the first batch here. Mm. So even we still have some beauty inside the bush over there. Mm. Now, when people come like for tour or excursion and they feel like, oh, they are not going out today. Mm. Yeah, they can they can, they can lodge mm. here that day. Yeah. But this is where they stop the project. Wow, guys, as you can see the, right there. I don't know if you can see very well, just at pillar level. And right there is a beach, of which if they clear all this place up, we have the beach, all this place are free. You know, they can turn this place to, they can turn it to a, a golf course, you know, something beautiful, something to keep visitors engaged. And they'll make a lot of money here. Let me tell you for free. Huh? This place, even without being maintained, it should attract people. This is a coastal line where you have coastal road, you know, in the future, uh, going to other part of Nigeria. This is the coastal line. And right there is the point of no return, the Badagri Beach, a beauty to behold. We, 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 I wish you see very soon. Well, bro, I want to ask you, uh, are you me? Okay. Like the government, do you think this coastal road will not affect the, the, uh, the, the heritage here? As you can see, uh, this is the Slave, what's, what's it called again? This is slave route. Slave route. Slave route down to the point of no return. Yeah, down to the point of no, no, no so, return. So, it's not only here that we have slave route. Okay. They have it in Koto, uh, Republic of Benin. Okay. Togo, Ivory Coast. Yeah. And so on. Yeah. And their government, they were, they were develop, they, they, they developing their like, country yeah. every day. Yeah. Why they also preserve? The heritage. What they have as heritage. Yeah. So, if the Nigerian government have the sense, yeah, they can make this place also beautify. Even they can, they can even improve their coastal road without even affect affecting the heritage. The heritage. Yeah. If they use I their sense, you. yeah, should you get. So, like this place, um, the coastal road that you are you are you are seeing here today. Yes. Like. Bring out through our former governor then. Who? That's a um Jackande. Jackande, okay. Jackande just want to use this thing to regulate the whole dub. Mm. Had the real Lagos uh, Express Road and here. Yeah. But unfortunately, when this man left office. left this uh, the the seat, the next governor or government, yeah, they refused to com continue the project, the project mm. which is you can see today. It's like it's still the same thing. Yeah. So Fashela did this pool that you are seeing here, okay. but he couldn't continue the, the project. So if the, the country or the government yeah. try to like make, make, make the place sweet, yeah. they, can, they, they have the sense to do it without affecting the place. Yeah, right, right. Makes, sense. Makes, yes. sense. makes sense. This is all about the slavery, how they took our people on the point of no return. And you can see the other painting on this side. This is all about the heritage. And I think if you, want, if you want anything concerning our product, once you cross to this side, you get us. I, I can do online delivery as well. So guys, as you can see, there's a lot to, to see at this place. I just wonder why government pay little attention to this place. And this is something I look out to see. You know, when people come to this place, they experience the supposed happiness and excitement that this place brings. I saw the fact that this place is beautiful. This is a monument, a history of Africa. Like, this place plays a bigger role in our history as Africans. You know, coming from there is another fun play. Crossing the, uh, the lagoon to the ocean is another thing entirely, just like I've shown you in the video. So, at this point, I will kindly ask you to subscribe to the channel 
and be part of this awesome family. You can also support us by buying us coffee. This is a way to help us fund our next project. All right. So to come away again, I remain your boy, OZ. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know your opinion concerning this. What do you think about this place? In the future, we may likely make a video about this place again or somewhere like this. So what do you think? What, what are the details you think I should capture in our next uh, video? Let me know in the comment section. And I'll be there to interact with you. So I come away again. I remain your boy, OZ. But before you go, before you want to show you next on your screen, don't go anywhere. I'm also there to continue the vibe. See you on the inside.